My name is Gary Figueroa. I'm the head water polo coach here at CSU Monterey Bay uh, going into our 12th season. So exciting over some time to see some development. Um, we're here at our newly refurbished pool. Um, got a brand new surface, so things are looking good here. Um, kind of a brief coaching history. Um, I was coaching for a local club, uh, then went into some high school coaching at Salinas High School. Uh, enjoyed developing that and then worked with a fellow named Pete Catino. Those that are in water polo know his name and we were on the committee for the development of this pool and shortly thereafter Pete introduced me to the athletic director and asked if I was uh, interested in being the water polo coach here, here at the college. So that was kind of the progression. Um, team highlights takes me all the way back to our first season where we had barely enough girls to be a team. We had seven players, which is the required number for a game. Uh, our first game at Cal State East Bay, uh, a girl named Vanessa Folks came to us from the basketball team. She didn't know how to swim yet. Um, luckily, she was a quick learner and actually scored our first ever goal for the team. So that was one of the highlights. And then we've had some just both wonderful teams, wonderful players, um, some highly decorated individuals over the years. So anyhow, it's just, it's been neat to watch both the individuals that have come through and the, uh, the team develop. Yeah, last season was uh, a very good year for us. Um, we had a good group of seniors that have since graduated and some underclassmen, con both sides contributing. And we were third in conference, which is the best finish we've had to date. And we're looking to improve on that. I don't believe water polo is all that tricky. So a lot of it just comes down to our fundamentals, really training um, without boring you right now, but the, the fundamentals as it relates to being able to go ahead and execute whatever we're trying to run. So um, I'm more of an offensive minded player, but I've become a defensive minded coach. Um, so players need to come in and be able to play sound defense and it kind of earns the right to go ahead and play more on the offensive side. And depending on personnel will a lot of times depend on the style of game we play. So, but kind of back to fundamentals, it's a lot of times conditioning, just uh, working out some of those individual skills.